success of their genius bars today, Apple stores across the country unveiled the Friend Bar, where obsessive Apple users can come to discuss Mac products at length. Onion News Network Tech Trends reporter Jeff Tate has more. Thanks, Andrea. Apple users looking for someone to talk at about the newest Twitter iPhone app or why Safari is an infinitely better browser than Firefox can now simply make an appointment at Apple's new Friend Bar. Free to anyone with an Apple Care warranty, the Friend Bar is staffed by Apple employees specially trained to carry on lengthy conversations about even the most arcane Apple related topics. Unlike your girlfriend or your co workers, we're not going to get tired of discussing the wireless networking capabilities of the Snow Leopard operating system. We're here and we're ready to listen. The Friend Bar is already a success, with some Apple fans scheduling appointments up to four hours in length. It drives me so nuts that Firefox is disabling the plugin for Mamo RC3. Yeah. Genius bars across the country are reporting shorter wait times as customers who just want to impress Apple employees with their ironic desktop image or their impeccably organized iTunes library are redirected to the Friend Bar. And the discussions don't have to be limited to Apple products. Friend Bar employees are trained to discuss a range of topics Apple customers are interested in, from finding a good Neapolitan pizza to talking to girls you aren't already in an improv troupe with. I think what our customers appreciate is the fact they've got a multinational consumer electronic corporation that they can relate to. The Friend Bar is is not the only good news for Apple fans. The 24-hour friend line connects users to call centers overseas where they can talk about Apple even after store hours. That's just using GarageBand, and I like to use iMovie if I'm just making a slideshow or oh, something. Yes. I'll use Final Cut Express for anything that's more elaborate. Course, like uh, yesterday, I uploaded some flip footage of these kids skateboarding. Oh, that is very interesting. The company also announced that next year it will roll out the iStore, a miniature version of an Apple store which customers can set up in their own homes. It's going to be about $6,000 for the hardware. Then there's a monthly salary for your personal Apple employee. Uh, then, of course, uh, anything you buy from the store. For Tech Trends, I'm Jeff Tate. Thank you, Jeff. Moving on, in a diplomatic show of goodwill, China will be sending two Tibetan monks to the National Zoo in Washington. A lot of networks report the news as it happens, but only one has the power to report the news before it happens. Through our state-of-the-art wormhole satellite, the Onion News Network Future Channel brings you exclusive news transmissions from the year 2137. Because to stay ahead in today's world, you need to know what's going to happen in tomorrow's.